The Chronicles of Spellbind Academy. Chapter 1. The Mysterious Letter. In the quaint village of Everdale, a young boy named Oliver lived with his aunt and uncle. Oliver was an ordinary boy, or so he thought, until one day, a mysterious letter arrived addressed to him. The envelope bore an emblem he had never seen before, a crest with a wand and a quill intertwined. Intrigued and filled with curiosity, Oliver opened the letter and read its contents. Dear Oliver, the letter began, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted into Spellbind Academy, a school of magic and wizardry. Enclosed is a list of necessary items and your acceptance into the Academy. Classes begin on the 1st of September. We eagerly await your arrival. Oliver's heart raced with excitement as he realized his life was about to change forever. With the support of his aunt and uncle, he prepared for his magical journey, purchasing robes, a wand, and all the required textbooks. Chapter 2 Arrival at Spellbind Academy September arrived, and Oliver found himself standing at the entrance of Spellbind Academy, a majestic castle hidden deep within a sprawling forest. The castle walls shimmered with ancient enchantments, and the air crackled with magic. As Oliver entered the Grand Hall, he was greeted by Professor Avalon, the headmaster of Spellbind Academy. Professor Avalon, a wise and kind-hearted wizard, led Oliver through the castle's winding corridors and introduced him to his fellow students. Oliver soon made friends with Emma, a clever and resourceful witch, and Daniel, a mischievous yet loyal wizard. Together, they embarked on countless magical adventures throughout their time at Spellbind Academy. Chapter 3 Lessons and Challenges At Spellbind Academy, Oliver discovered a world of spells, potions, and mythical creatures. He attended classes taught by skilled professors, each specializing in different branches of magic. From transfiguration to potions, from charms to defense against the dark arts, Oliver eagerly absorbed knowledge and honed his magical skills. One of Oliver's favorite subjects was magical linguistics, taught by Professor Penelope. In these classes, Oliver learned how to cast spells by pronouncing incantations with precision and clarity. Professor Penelope emphasized the importance of grammar and syntax in spellcasting, as even the slightest mistake could have disastrous consequences. Chapter 4 The Forbidden Chamber as Oliver and his friends delved deeper into their studies, rumors circulated among the students about a forbidden chamber within Spellbind Academy. Legend had it that the chamber housed a powerful artifact known as the Spellbinder's Stone, capable of enhancing one's magical abilities. Intrigued by the tales, Oliver and his friends embarked on a secret quest to uncover the truth. Their journey led them through secret passages, hidden traps and riddles that tested their knowledge of magical history and grammar. They encountered challenges that required them to decipher ancient texts, solve word puzzles, and apply their understanding of grammar rules to unlock enchanted doors. Chapter 5. The Final Test. After overcoming numerous trials, Oliver and his friends stood before the entrance to the Forbidden Chamber. The door creaked open, revealing a dimly lit room filled with mystical energy. At the center of the chamber stood the Spellbinder's stone, radiating an ethereal glow. Suddenly, an ancient guardian, known as Gramor the Grammarian, emerged from the shadows. Gramor challenged the students to prove their worthiness by engaging in a battle of wits and linguistic prowess. He tested their understanding of advanced grammar concepts, such as subjunctive mood, conditional clauses, and complex sentence structures. Oliver and his friends summoned all their knowledge and skill, impressing Grammar with their impeccable command of English grammar. Recognizing their dedication and determination, Grammar granted them access to the Spellbinder's Stone. Chapter 6. The Power of Grammar As Oliver held the Spellbinder's Stone, he felt a surge of energy and wisdom flow through him. The stone's magic amplified his knowledge of grammar, enabling him to cast spells with greater precision and understand ancient texts written in forgotten languages. With their newfound abilities, Oliver and his friends became renowned spellcasters, admired for their linguistic prowess and accurate incantations. They used their skills to protect the magical world from dark forces and bring harmony to those in need. Epilogue years passed, 
and Oliver, Emma and Daniel graduated from Spellbind Academy as exceptional wizards and witches. They went on to become esteemed professors at the Academy, passing on their knowledge and love for English grammar to future generations of spellcasters. The legend of Oliver and his friends' adventures at Spellbind Academy spread far and wide, inspiring young witches and wizards to embrace the beauty of language and the power of grammar. And so the legacy of the Spellbinder's Stone lived on, forever reminding the magical world of the significance of precise grammar in the enchanting art of spellcasting. <laughs>